The dollar's always a hard one. We've been very range-bound this year. I think heading into next year, it's not just what's happening in the U.S. that's going to impact where the dollar goes, but also what's happening with the global growth story. And, of course, Europe and China being the other two big pieces of the global growth story, it will matter very much what's going on there. Europe has been stagnant. Germany has facing some structural issues given their economic outlook. And China, as we know, has been facing a lot of property deleveraging. They have been one of the few central banks this year to be consistently cutting and not having hiked at all. They're facing the deleveraging of the property market and some of the uh, growth challenges on that. The path of the dollar will depend very much on what's happening in the rest of the world as much as what the U.S. is doing. So I think we could be range bound for the first part of the year as we figure out what's going on with inflation. Are central banks going to cut? When will they cut? What's happening with China? We've seen some signs of bottoming and maybe if, we, if it starts to pick up there. But if global growth on a relative basis is doing better than the U.S. and a slowdown and cutting, then we could see the dollar under pressure. But I imagine that's more likely in the second half of the year than the first half of the year.